I love Islam. Islam is absolutely my life. There's nothing in the world as important to me as Islam. And there is nothing in the world that I am not willing to give up for the sake of Allah, for Islam, and for the Muslims. That's a fact. It's an unquestionable fact. Because Islam is everything to me because I know the power of Islam. I know the power of Allah. I understand Allah's love. I understand his wisdom. I understand his mercy. I understand his justice. And I know there is nothing that is better. And I wish to share this with everyone. And the first thing I had to learn was how to present Islam and how to live Islam. You know, for those of you who, who know, I, I embraced Islam about 24 years ago uh, to the consternation of most of my family. And um, actually the, the reaction of my family was so severe that, that one member of my family actually tried to kill me. Another member actually arranged to have me committed to a mental institute uh, because they couldn't believe that I would, you know, go into Islam. And yet, by applying Islam to my life, by living Islam, most of my family is now Muslim. Alhamdulillah. The thing is that everywhere you go, if you actually are living Islam, if you are demonstrating Islam, you will impact people and you will change their mindset. Now when we go up to, to Congress, we go up to the Capitol Hill, you know, talk to our senators or whoever up there. Some people go up yelling and screaming and threatening. I don't see that as the way in Islam. The way in Islam is to introduce them to the truth. So first of all, I let them see me and know me as a Muslim woman, that they would know something of Islam. And then I can talk to them in gentle ways about what has to be done. And so we get a lot of things accomplished. It's not the strong, forceful, cram it down their throat way of, of the feminists. And uh, I've, I've been there, I've done that. I, I don't care to follow in that pathway anymore.